Skateboards. Skateboards are done on an elevated platform. You can use, again, a very small platform if you're somebody who's not too fit. A lot of people are going to need to hold on to something to, for stability or support. If you have a training partner, you can hold on to their shoulder and or a chair. Something that's elevated that that's, uh, allows you to perform this exercise safely. If you've ever been on a skateboard, a skateboard involves a lot of this action to make the board move. It's essentially the same motion you're going to incorporate doing a skateboard movement on a box. This is a 12 inch box. I'm going to step onto the side of the box, all right, have my free floating leg over the ground, and I'm going to propel myself or at least simulate that movement. If I had wheels on this box, I'm going to make this puppy roll. But the hip action is really important. If you look from the side, you're going to get a good idea of what this looks like. If you want to skim the floor with your foot, that's acceptable, but try not to. And make sure you get that big rotation through your hip. Bring your foot down and back around and bring it up nice and high. The larger the circular movement, the hairier the movement through the hip, the greater balance challenge on the stabilized leg, the leg that's stabilizing your body. Very hip dominant exercise. It's going to cook your hamstrings as well.